I planned on filming my review for Deadpool with a whole bunch of fourth wall breaks, and then I kind of realized my whole review is fourth wall breaks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the movie. Today on the Bird Motor Guy, Bird Motor Guy, looks like Deadpool. Oh, yeah. Everyone's waiting for it. Let's finally get there. It's here. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it. Brought to you by the Bird Motor Guy. Hi, the Bird Motor Guy. And today I'm talking about Deadpool. Yeah, this movie had been waiting forever for this movie, and it finally came out. All right, so quick synopsis. If you don't know anything about Deadpool, Deadpool's a comic book character that is filthy. He has terrible language. He kills people in terrible ways. He's not the best guy in the world. He's very funny though. And this is his origin story. Now, what you need to know about Deadpool is he knows he's in a comic book movie. He knows he's in a comic book or he knows he's in whatever medium he's in. And he talks to whoever's watching him or reading him or whatever, listening to him, playing the video game, doesn't matter. And he looks at you and starts talking to you, the audience, breaking the fourth wall. You may remember this kind of thing from Ferris Bueller's Day Off where he looks right at the camera and says, can you believe this? I don't you know. That's what Deadpool does. And he makes tons of pop culture references and he even references the movie he's in and the studio that made it. All right, so basically Deadpool's, uh, he, he's just a comic book character that's really foul-mouthed, really funny, and he can't be killed. Like, you can cut his head off and it's not gonna kill him. He'll just put it back on. And this is the story of uh, how he came to be. That's all you need to know for the plot. So, is this movie worth your time? Is this movie worth it? Yes, it is! Assuming you like funny movies, assuming you like superhero movies, assuming you have a good sense of humor, assuming that you can take some blood and violence and language and there's some nudity also in there. Um, didn't need to be there, but you know, it's Deadpool, so it's there and it makes perfect sense that it's in there. But yeah, if you could take all that, this is possibly one of the funniest movies I've seen in the last bunch of years. Ryan Reynolds is perfect as Deadpool. It's perfect casting and he cast himself basically and there's a whole story that goes with that that I'm not gonna get into. I'm just gonna say, this movie is so funny. So well made. The action looks great. Deadpool is funny as anything. And it has my favorite X-Men in it. Colossus. Now, you've seen Colossus in the X-Men movies and stuff, but this is like the older Colossus who's bigger and stronger. I've been wanting to see a cool Colossus, like a really good Colossus. And like, uh, he's my favorite X-Men. His name's Peter, my name's Peter. I'm a big guy, he's a big guy. His skin is steel, My I got a beard. It's like, we're close. To, okay, two to three and bad. But I've always loved him. He's been my favorite character since I was a kid. So I just was thrilled to see him in this. And he's great in this, he's really funny. In, in a stoic sort of way. Deadpool is fast paced, really funny, kind of gory, kind of bloody, but incredibly worth your time, assuming you can take all that kind of stuff. The fourth wall breaks are just hysterical. The things. Deadpool says is awesome. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. It's like, it is perfect casting. The rest of the cast did a good job. Everyone, everyone did their part perfectly. And uh, I don't need to go into their names. They're, they're but they, they did, they did good work. Everyone, everyone was good. The, the thing, th this director is a first time director. He's directed other stuff as second unit stuff, which means like when you go to a normal movie, sometimes those movies will have other directors do like smaller scenes. They're called the second director. He's done a lot of that kind of stuff. This is his first movie where he's in charge of everything. And he did a great job. The effects look great. Deadpool looks great. The script is really tight. Everything's funny. And uh, yeah, I, okay, for overall movies, am I gonna give this a score of five beards out of five beards? No, because it's, it's a comic book movie that's silly. But, as a comic book movie that's silly, I give it five beards out of five beards. This is a freaking insanely entertaining film. And uh, I would suggest checking it out in the theaters. It's, it helps to know a lot of pop culture references, even superhero references. He makes fun of other superhero movies, especially uh, those made by Disney. And he makes fun of himself, um, Green Lantern. You know, it's, it's just Ryan Reynolds and the whole crew just, they knocked it out of the park. It's fantastic. Yeah, go see this movie. Don't take your kids to it though. My kids want to see it, but don't take them. Not a kid's movie. So, are you gonna see Deadpool? Did you like Deadpool? If you didn't, you don't probably have a sense of humor. That's on you, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you. Thanks for watching, until next time, stay bearded. Ah, oh, you've been watching Bearded Morgan I'm talking about Deadpool, yeah. That's just, yeah, watch the movie, people. It's funny. We need more R-rated adult comic book movies. It, oh, here we got it, we gotta have more. Deadpool sequel, it's coming. Yeah.
Yeah, that's it. Subscribe and tell your friends. And as always, your top seven.